All right, this is uh, kind of impromptu because I was actually taking a look to see how to get my LoRa devices talking to one another with Enzyme um, to act as both a tracker or, or a leader and a tracker. So right now I have a NUC and a laptop set up with Enzyme Dragon OS. Um, like I had said before, the goal would be to include it in there. Uh, but right now it's just uh, available in the Raspberry Pi um, <clears throat> Wyvern image, as I was calling it, uh, that the last video was made on. So I actually uh, found that everything worked, uh, so I have it all set up, and I figured I'd just make a video. So what you're seeing now is the NUC, and there's actually a Blade RF plugged in. And just like as in previous videos with the Blade RF, I've changed to the user source uh, Wi-Fi build or Wi-Fi, Pi, however you want to say it. Um, and I made sure that the WLAN XA9 uh, FPGA is loaded. Um, because there is no other wireless device, I did a sudo mod probe uh, Mac 802.11. And then I jumped into the Blade RF Mac 802.11 HW SIM folder and did a sudo INS mod Mac 802.11 HW SIM KO radios equals 1. Uh, after I did that, I went ahead and looked at this setup.sh file that I had put in here before. SH file was fine to use, and that put it into monitor mode. And let's see, so I have two LoRa devices um, plugged in, one on each end. And um, if I go ahead and I remove a pin from this one device that's sitting here in front of me, I can run some tools on here that comes along with the enzyme source which was uh, suggested to read uh, channel miscellaneous and speeds to make sure that the settings were actually correct so as long as uh, enzyme is not running I should be able to read the channel which is uh, 65 miscellaneous uh, 128 and s speeds is 35 I check that on both devices, make sure it's set. If it's not, I use the set channel miscellaneous and speeds to make sure everything is set the same. I replace the pin on the LoRa device to take it out of configuration mode. And I've got, uh, on this particular model, I've got the pins um, or the jumpers on uh, A, both, which should put it into transmit mode. Also in the, and uh, I know I'm going a little fast here, but, uh, if we take a look at the enzyme com file on the leader, um, and and again on the Raspberry Pi uh, image, this is uh, pretty much all set up uh, as in the leader role. Uh, what you'll have to add is the wireless interface that uh, you're using. In this case, it's WLAN zero for me. I've yet to get the um, Nexmon patches working on the Arch 64 Ubuntu image, so unfortunately the internal Pi wireless um, uh, d doesn't work in monitor mode, so you'll have to get another device and make sure you've got it tagged uh, the right device here and that you're not using the internal wireless. And then I come down uh, to the ground station and I've got the type parameters. You need a 32 character key. I just put 1 through 8 four times. I make sure the serial port uh, on my LoRa device is TTY USB 0. And you can check that in your dev folder. And I got it there, TTY USB 0. And so let me think, what else? Uh, that should be it. So we should be able to come over here and to really use the Blade RF as the wireless uh, interface we need to do sudo blader f linux mac 802.11 and we'll let that run and we will let's see we'll go ahead and do a sudo systemctl start the enzyme service on the leader and we could do a tail log file and then we'll jump over to the tracker so on the tracker we need to uh, 
Hmm. We need to change the com file, and I pulled it directly from the enzyme.org page. Uh, tells you how to build your own tracker. It's got an example configuration file, and that's copied and pasted in here. With the one thing being changed was the uh, parameters, the encryption key, and making sure the serial port was TTY USB zero. And on the tracker, I have a alpha card. Uh, I forget what model it is, a gray one, plugged in, and that's its um, adapter name. And that's pretty much all I changed on this end. I also did the same thing with the, um, and I've got some things in here I've been messing with. Uh, let me see, enzyme. I downloaded the source as well just to test this out. And so again on this end I take the uh, pin off or the jumper off of the pins uh, to put it into configuration mode. I do read channel. I got 65. And what's funny is, is I, I literally did nothing different so I'm not sure uh, what made the connection between the two work. So everything is set there. I've noticed I've had the cart restart it. Uh, maybe it just happened to be in sync. I don't know. So so now on the tracker end I should be able to start the enzyme service as well. Take a look at the log file. Should be changing channels. I know it's going so fast. I'll come back over to the leader and the page is loaded. Default is admin password. And uh, so now we've got the Blade RF um, running again in Enzyme as the leader. Uh, if I were to click networks, it does uh, see network so that works properly I just don't feel like barring it out so um, what I want to see though is the bandits I'm looking for the tracker to come online over a LoRa connection so now um, <clears throat> the although it's a laptop it could have been just as easily a Raspberry Pi out there uh, with the software running it has the LoRa uh, a device attached to it, and it's communicating over that connection back to, in this case, the NUC, which is running Enzyme as well, and the leader configuration. And then, you know, best of my understanding is, is if you had some of these devices out there um, doing malicious stuff against your account, then you would. Um, assign the tracker and save the uh, get the results back and be able to communicate with the, the tracker. So again I have no idea what I did any different but it does appear that it is working pretty well now. So I got tracker online, good signal strength, I've got a Blade RF uh, running uh, on one end and a alpha card running on the other end. So you should be able to follow along for the most part and accomplish everything that I've just did here uh, on the image that's made for the Raspberry Pi um, in the last video. Uh, I just happen to have uh, the full Dragon OS set up here and testing this out so I figured I'd make a uh, video. Alright, thanks.